Hello, this is Gina B. Living Fully, and I am now here with my uh, little recipe video. I'm not doing a full-on cook with me this time, but um, yes, I'm a hot mess. I just got done kind of working out a little bit. I think I did 20 minutes, so that's good on a Sunday. Anyway, by the time this gets to you, it just might be a little bit later than Sunday. It might roll into the wee hours of Monday morning. But anyway, welcome. I'm Gina B. Living Foley, where I do Dollar Tree hauls typically every Sunday. But I also add in some Dollar Tree content when I can, um, as I'm a very busy massage therapist and I have a family, da-da-da. <laughs> so it's hard for me to put out a lot of content. But anyway, I had some requests. I did ask in my last couple of hauls, if people wanted um, a little bit of a recipe with the Dollar Tree Chunk Grider brand chicken. There it is, I already opened it up, but this stuff is actually a really good source of protein. Um, I don't eat a lot of meat of any kind because of cholesterol. I really watch it, I control it on my own. Um, but when I do, I like a really good lean chicken and right now chicken is through the roof and unless you get it with all the skin on it and everything else you're paying a lot of money for chicken for beef for fish all of the above so i thought i would try this grider brand chicken from the dollar tree and it made a lot of what i did here um it's their cream cheese style blend so this is like an imitation cream cheese it's perfect for baking and it's perfect for mixing things um, together for a sandwich what have you it actually acts as a wonderful spread on cream um, uh, bagel excuse me on a bagel just like a cream cheese would act and it doesn't have the level of cholesterol that cream cheese has. It has zero milligrams of cholesterol, a total of eight grams of fat, and four grams of saturated fat, and zero trans fat, which is really good. And it's very low in sodium. It has one gram of protein and only 100 I think it says only 100 or 100, maybe 130 milligrams of sodium. That's not bad when you're going to be sharing it amongst other people. Uh, great to make into a dip. So what I did was, as a nice post-workout meal, and this is just optional, um, I love my serving of healthy fat, my avocado, a nice heirloom tomato and maybe some mushrooms, just kind of like a little char charcuterie board. So I sliced these up. These were bought um, at my local farmer's market and everything was very, very cheap. So when you have a local farmer's market and you go towards the end before they close down, you can get everything for a screaming deal. So rather than go really early in the morning or really early when they first open, go tend to go when they're about to close, pick what's left over. They have wonderful products, way better, and they're local, way better than a grocery store. They haven't traveled, and they're organic, and they're pesticide-free. Obviously, you have to be pesticide-free if you're a local organic farmer, and this is what I scored, and I think I got everything well under. I mean, I got a big bag of groceries, but this portion would be well under $5. Um, and so I slice all that up, but what I did with the cream cheese and the chicken and these lovely pimento stuffed manzanilla olives. Okay, these are imported. These are lovely. This is Bell's brand, okay is I went ahead and mixed it. So I dumped the cream cheese in with the chicken. I blended it really, really well. You can see my slice of lemon here. Um, I added about a teaspoon of this Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of the chopped chives, 
and I would say about six, six manzanilla olives finely chopped and a little bit of the juice from this, just a hair to loosen up that fake cream cheese. So this is a dairy blend, they say, but it's not a regular, it, it does have milk. It is not dairy free, but it's still an imitation. They, it, you know, it's not real cream cheese is what I'm trying to say. So hopefully that clears up what I'm trying to tell you. But, um, it, you know, it isn't super duper health, healthy, but it's also not horribly bad either and filled with cholesterol. So I love it on a budget to blend with something like their chicken. So put all that in there. I whipped it up really, really nicely and added a pretty lemon slice there. You can add a little lemon to this. It would taste delicious. I didn't add any salt. There's plenty of salt in this. There's plenty of salt in the chicken and the cream cheese. You don't need any salt. But what I like to do with something like this is either A, put it inside of my little portobello mushroom. So you can either A, and if you're not a mushroom person, then just forego this. This can be served cold easily, okay? But rather than eating a big, huge sandwich, a lot of bread, if you're working on weight and you're on a really stiff budget, I recommend go to your local farmer's market, whip up some of this high protein um, Dollar Tree chicken with their, their brand of cream cheese and add all those seasonings that I just told you. You have your, again, Italian seasoning. You have the Dollar Tree brand chives. These are awesome, by the way. And the Bell's chopped up olives and you just stuff your little mushroom if you don't want to stuff a mushroom one thing that you can do is you can stuff a beautiful look at this heirloom tomato look how gorgeous that is you could just scoop out the core and put your blend in your chicken blend in the tomato okay but one thing you can do with this that would be delightful is to actually pop these in an oven I would say broil would be the best way to go, okay? Put it down in the middle part of the oven on a rack and uh, put it on broil and sprinkle some cheese of some sort on top and just watch it. Put the light on and watch it. Pop it in and under under five minutes, I would say you're going to have a beautiful little crispy top, um, cooked little stuffed mushroom. And that would be a wonderful appetizer if you're having company. But this little plate here will feed my husband and I beautifully. We, we are not overeaters. We watch what we eat and we exercise regularly but we're on a budget. And so we have gotten very friendly with Dollar Tree products. Um, but look at how adorable that little button, <laughs> portobello mushroom, baby portobello is. You put a little cheese and you pop it in the oven. It Today on a hot day, we're eating it cold. It'll be delicious that way. But if you don't favor a mushroom or you're not a vegetable person and you just want to serve an appetizer, Look for their pack of entertainment crackers at the Dollar Tree. At Dollar Twenty-Five, you get all these different crackers, huge variety. That's three huge packs. That's a lot of crackers for a Dollar Twenty-Five. And when you read the ingredients, it is not horrible. Put these out with this beautiful dip, and you will have happy, happy guests. And what I did to jazz up my little tomato and my avocado. Instead of using salt, I love powdered onion, and I just sprinkle a little bit of that powdered onion. You can even add that to your chicken blend. 
By the way, if you don't want to do the chicken, you can always do the tuna fish. Anything I did today with this can also be done with tuna fish. So there is your beautiful plate of little stuffed portobello mushrooms. Huge budget meal. This is all under $10, feeds two people. It looks lovely, okay? And the produce was all bought at my local farmer's market. So when you have a local farmer's market, you're gonna get really good deals if you go towards the end. Of, they're usually there for two to three hours. And instead of going at the very beginning, go at the end and grab just what they have. And there's usually a lot left. They do not wanna go home with that stuff. So it would be a waste for them. They probably have to, you know, either throw it out or they have to give it to their, you know, their food shelter, which is great. But um, they don't want to go home with that and they don't wanna lose that money. So I say, go to, go to the local farmer's market, pick up your little veggies for your plate and go to your Dollar Tree and get your cream cheese that has no cholesterol in it and your chicken by Griders and all your spices and your little olives and you're gonna love it. If you do not want olives, don't do it. You can do it with pickles. Dollar Tree carries pickles, go for it. Um, switch it up a little bit and then don't forget to grab the crackers because a little carbohydrate will go a long, a long way. But rather than have a big old baguette, which sounds lovely, carbohydrates for me just turn into sugar. So I choose something like this. And that is my simple recipe with the chicken. I hope you enjoy it. If you're new here and you're seeing this for the first time, I am Gina B. Living Foley. I do Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree content in the middle of the week and the hauls every Sunday. I would love it if you would like, share, and subscribe if you like what you see. Um, and if you've already subscribed and you have commented, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I sure hope that this little recipe helps you create a little meal on a budget. Take care. Have a great week. And I will see you all next Sunday. Bye-bye.